Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zahn Ta of Reaper Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a duct system within Revit 2017. I hope you like this video. If you like it and like to see more, please search for Zahn Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017, which contains all three flavors of Revit, Architecture, Structure, and Systems. I'm working with a project that is based upon the system's default template file. And I have some air diffusers and a unit. If we go to the Systems tab of the ribbon, we notice we have a lot of tools here to create manually ducts, duct placeholders, fittings, accessories, converting to flexible ducts, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and select one of our terminals and we can click create duct system it'll ask us for the type that we're working with and a name and we'll click OK we can then click edit system within the systems tool contextual panel and we can add to this system all the other objects that make up the system we can also select the main equipment that the um, terminals are associated to we'll finish the creation of that system and then at that point, you can select uh, one of the terminals and click Generate Layout. What this will do is it will automatically go into solution mode and give you different types of solutions to work with. You have network, perimeter, and intersection. Within each solution type, you can click the little arrow here to toggle between what it thinks makes the most sense for you versus what doesn't. If you don't like what you see, you can always switch to, say, perimeter and try the arrows again and see what solutions they give you. If you're still not happy, try the third choice, intersections. And eventually you'll find something you like. And so let's say hypothetically this is what I like. There's a settings button here that if you click, you'll see that the main has a certain height and a duct that's being used. And we'll set that to say 10, uh, say 11 feet. And the branch we'll set to uh, 8 feet. Well, no, let's do 10 feet. And then if we want a flexible duct, we can pick a flexible duct to work with. And as you can see right off the bat, uh, a lot of the line work is going to be adjusted for you. Now, if you need to edit the layout, you can click Edit Layout. And you can pick a particular line, and you'll see that's at 11. That's at 11. Um, that one's tied back to the unit, so whatever the height for that unit is, I'm thinking it's 12 feet. This one's set to 10 feet. And so if I need to adjust these to be just as high as those, I can just type in 11 and bring them up. Now that you have the layout idea the way you'd like, go ahead and click Finish Layout and it will build it for you. Uh, if there are issues, it will tell you what those issues are, and then you have to go through the process of cleaning them up. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave it the way it is, um, and we'll worry about it another time. Uh, lastly, if you need to, you can use the tab key to highlight the entire system and do things like duct pipe sizing, and make adjustments for whether the sizing is based upon velocity and or friction or a combination of the two. And you can also restrict the height and restrict the width if you need to as well. And it will re try to resize everything for you. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you're going to have to adjust it and tweak it to make it the way you want it to look. Now, the choice that we made for this one is not necessarily a good one, the intersection method. So let's try one last approach to creating it again, but a different selection. So I'm going to select this, go to Generate Layout, look at our solutions, and we will pick this one's fine. We'll go to Settings, we'll set this to 11, and we'll set that to 10. Let's see if this will work. Um, let's go ahead and click Edit Layout, select this, make it 12, take it higher. We'll take the main branch higher. And this one is 12. We'll 
we'll take this up to 12 just to make it simple. And so let's say hypothetically that's what we want. Um, we'll hit finish and let it build it. Now if it doesn't build it because there's an error here and you can see what's going on, uh, let's go ahead and clean that up. So now it's going to put in a little bend. And then lastly, again, you can tab into the system and do things like duct pipe sizing again and let it redesign and readjust the sizing for you. And that's it. That's how you create a duct system. Uh, by the way, one last thing. If I select a terminal like this and I go back to my systems and I click convert to flexible duct, I can pick that terminal and it will convert that portion. So I can use that command all day if I need to to pick the ones that I want and it will convert them to flexible duct. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.